Your field true. situation. It's like, oh, well, see ya. All right, bye. <laughs> Continue. I understand why, though. though, because as Grant said, they they had a great oh, late game team. Time they had their bad. opportunity. They said, okay, we got AM. We got all these guys. If one of those people didn't have buyback, that game would have been over. But the fact that the entire team could buy back just so happened to get a few picks. Yeah. Turn the whole thing around. And that is a very costly, costly win for that. Team. Yeah, and you talk about it. I mean, pressure creates diamonds, and secret is a diamond in the rough. Wow. Nice job wow. there, Grand. Thank you. Grand. But they've been around for quite a while. Why are they still a diamond in the rough? I mean, don't look too far into the metaphor. <laughs> Slags, you're back on hosting duty. Get out of here, Fever. <laughs> All right, Grand, let me get you some bands here. We got That's a Rubik a Earthshaker band coming out for OG on the radio. Is that an guys. AA or Winter Wyvern? That's a Winter Wyvern. That's a Winter Wyvern, my friend. Well, it's, I knew it was one of the chili heroes. What are those chili bros? One of the chili bros. Uh, and we got a Brewmaster band out as well. Interesting that they're going to commit to that brew band. I always find it so interesting when they can beat the teams. They give the team a hero. They manage to beat it, and then they want to ban it. It's just probably hmm. annoying to play against. And if you're trying to try out new things, at some point, you know, now you know how to play against brew. Time to figure out how to play against what they have if they don't have brew. I mean, I guess you can challenge yourself, oh, sure, but uh, yeah. let them have the thing that you know that you can beat. Go for the easy win. Beastmaster banned out. Not surprising there. Surprising, however, Whoa. is the Spirit Breaker banned. Does this mean a Nature's Prophet, a Tinker coming out for OG? Well, we did see Puffy what? playing Spirit Breaker earlier this week, and he was very successful, I think. He was very fast. A quick one. He was a very quick one. Yeah, Spirit Breaker has been one of those heroes that either gets first banned or just completely ignored, and that's what the whole uh, first picking those supports. Y'all just goofing around over there? We're just giggling over here. Giggling like schoolgirls? Yeah, Grant, do the draft, please. Yeah, shut up. I am. I'm just. Wait, I thought you said Earth Spear was banned. Slacks, are you I serious? Earth Shaker. No, he said Spear at $100. I don't I think so, you. brother. All right, Radiant, this guy's going to be up in the river. He likes roaming around. And that's going to be, man, the OG, the old Jerex or Spirit. Slacks, tell me who's your favorite or Spirit player. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, of course, I'm sorry to go with the grain, but I got to say it is Jerry. He's the one who put the hero on the map, for God's sakes. Yeah. So there's been better or Spirits. I will say, I, I believe he was beaten. Was uh, Tim's Earth Spirit not really good Tim's as well? Tim's is amazing. Really I, I don't know. A lot of the, the Asian team ones, like Dogfights back on oh, yeah. IGV. I love Dogfights. I actually like Dogfights well, better on the Ricky. Uh, sorry, nice. Pete. I don't like Dogfights. I love the player, though. That guy's sick. Yeah. 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 Witch Doctor. Oh, we got you. Witch Doctor first pick. I mean, it, it's the Witch Doctor first pick for Team Secret. They've been doing that the whole week as well. Not all Stay the games. Stay playing him. And, uh, and the Slardar. And Slardar. That's an ass. Grant, did you know yeah. that DMX went to jail for dog fighting? Yeah. Man, I did not. X really gave it to him. Ten yeah, but, you know, he, you know, that's life. <laughs> what? Every couple of years, the opportunity comes up to host a bunch of dog fights. This guy will be in the river, too. Hey. Slaughter lives in the river. That guy really live in there. What if He's he fish. was in Viz in the river with the speed boost? That'd be neat. <laughs> That fundamentally think, break the game, I think. I think that would be maybe good for, for Morphling, because he is the water. You know, you, you'll see yeah. fish, but you won't you, see the water. Yeah, it was one of those, in Dota 1, so in, in the river, I think actually, like, on the map, there was one little puddle in the river. It was, like, it was a deeper puddle, and Tidehunter could swim through. He was the only hero that could. Like, he would just what? go into it. It was oh, that's super weird. super neat. Yeah. Yeah, was, I thought it was a cool little tidbit of information. Wow, that's a great tid. And there you go. <laughs> Dazzle is picked up. That's why they banned it out last time. Fly does love his Dazzle. He does. Coming through this time. But will Dazzle be the big defining hero that wins in this series? I'm going to go ahead and say, hell no. You don't like Dazzle? Nah, bruh. Ten seconds. OG's remaining. the only team that plays it right now. It's poo poo. Why? I mean, why? Ten seconds remaining. How's OG been doing? But OG has been picking <laughs> that hero for such a long time. Even when OG, they were winning majors, they were still one of the bad. only teams that picked Dazzle. Get over it, man. Puppy was the same way with Dazzle. Sometimes That's... he falls out of favor. You got to adapt and survive in new patches. Did you, did you guys like the Bounty Hunter last game? It was their first pick hero. It really worked out. I was surprised. They just let him, like, walk wherever he wanted. He walked all over him. He really Super did. Super weird. He was grabbing couriers. He was being a dirty little man. There's been a lot of these level one fights today, like 5v5 complete fights, not even 4v4, just straight up 5v5. It's been hype. I love 5v5 fights. They're fun to watch. I love death. You love death? I love watching these teams at each other. Is that a puck ban I see? That is a puck ban. That is. Yes. 
Oh. Puck. Yeah. Now you can. Remaining. That was an earth shaker. My bad. Let's find that guy. Five seconds remaining. Hey, Grant, if you get the the corrosive haze on you, does Witch Doctor's ult do more damage? No. All right. Noted. Isn't it physical? Noted. Yeah, but corrosive haze removes armor. Does it? Then of does course it? it does more damage. What? What? There's a broken armor above the hero in the cloud. Yeah, it does. If you have corrosive haze, cor yeah. If I've you lose armor, of course it does more damage. Does, what the yeah. hell are you saying? <laughs> I'm just, it's physical damage. Yes, it and if they lose armor, what the? If it was a magical attack, you wouldn't do additional damage then, oh, would geez. you? No. You're breaking ground. <sighs> Don't do that. It was an e it was an alley oop question. I just wanted you to talk about the synergy. <laughs> Kobe, Kobe, it just be like yes, indeed. What a great synergy there. But yeah. no, you had to be a little. You think that's good synergy? Yeah, man. His when are they ever gonna win it? Okay. It does an Great. AOE corrosive Ten haze seconds. now. You can corrosive haze the entire team and then witch doctor ult them all, insta kill them no, all. No, you can't go. This takes too long to corrosive haze. Like by the time you've got corrosive haze on all the team, everybody in oh, the enemy team is already gone. Isn't AOE now? No. I... Unless there was a patch that I missed. Apparently Which there was one Slacks missed. <laughs> God, I hate you. <laughs> Tide Hunter. There he goes. He's going to be looking for that oh, hole wow. in the river. All right, Tide Hunter. That is. All the fishes. That's, I mean, it's gotta be offlane, right? That's. Yeah, Kazu. Nope, not Kazu anymore. Kazu. Never mind. Oh, Bata. boy. Oops. No one told him yet, I guess. <laughs> no one, oh, no. oh, boy. Someone get him on the line. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I, I think bot has been doing a great job. He has. He really has. Especially on these, I, I like him, obviously, the AoE stunners. There's some offlaners that aren't, but on, on these tides and centaurs, like this game, he's been on point, like Icicle. You know, he was the uh, when he was a mid, he was the same type of mid that S4 was when he was a mid, and that's like they both work very well on the offlane because they kind of have the same yeah. selfless way of playing. Yeah, they just you know they play for the team. Ace is I didn't really, like on Danish bears. Ace didn't seem as greedy, but on, on the like last iteration, I guess they had seven four seven, who's a greedy mid. You think Ace is a greedy player? I think on this team he is, right? Haven't we seen like when mid one plays the Viper and then he's just playing a super hard carry? He's definitely a lot greedier than he was on Danish Bears, but but he's that's not a getting a lot of extra support, so I'm he's a careful, him. he's a careful greedy pr player. What? <laughs> As in I don't not, know what that means, but I'm pretty well, sure. I mean that uh, that you always see you see Yaps and Puppy and they're just roaming about. They don't really care about what Ace is doing. You know, Ace is just by himself on the safe lane trying to get some farm because that's his job. You know, we yeah, we call him like an Elon Musk. You know, he's he's super rich and greedy, but at the same time, it's a good greedy. Like he's he he wants to replace oh, everything with solar panels. Yeah. You know, it's a positive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <Back to> you, <laughs> I don't know. How to Is that a vengeful that. core? Sure oh, looks oh, like it. He looks like it. Sheever, you may have missed it today, but there is a vengeful support on Navi that beat Team Liquid. Ten oh, seconds, they came out with the surprise. They sure did. But well, they, they no played surprise. it. They, they first picked Five it in both seconds, games. Three. One, the first one was core. They lost horribly, okay. and they threw it on support. And did they have an aggressive trilin or something? Yeah, it, yeah, it was an aggressive. An aggressive failure. It was aggressive. It was a right. warlock venge. I don't. It doesn't. But matter. they won the game. No, that one they lost. Okay, which what was he doing? Was he just safe On lane support, support? He just safe laned. Yeah, right. they, they dove a lot. They had like, they had earth spear. They were against earth spear dark seer, and they kept diving. Venge would just throw out a stun, and people would die. And which lane? stuns on lanes? We've been talking about this before. Well, Stuns win games. They do. And so, so far, you know, look game? at that spend stun. Also great, but so far Team Secret has more stuns, so Team, Team Secret's Secret. gonna win. That's how that works. They have a lot of stuns. This is yeah. that is a lot. Bat Bat rider. Rider. Yeah. Where is the rider of bats here? Found him. Yeah. So we're gonna assume that guy's in the old off laneo. Yep. On. Yep. Can I hear your famous bat rider remaining. impression, Chief? I don't have a famous bet right now. No, no, don't be so no, modest. I've heard so about it. Don't be shy, Sheaver. I said something about knees in the breeze. There That's it is. That's all I got. Famous. 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 So famous. So happy to be able to perform that for you guys. Thank you, Sheaver. So, uh, yeah, right now, bat ready. You have catch. <laughs> you have a very, I wouldn't say a super hard carrying spend. Someone who can get farmed very quickly. They OG can already, they, they want to push the tempo. 
that you can just tell up from the first four picks. While Secret, they have a Tide Hunter. They want to quell, quell the peasants that are OG. If they push into them, blink in Ravage. It's all it takes. But they also have low cooldowns. Witch Doctor, Venge, and Slardar. Three super low cooldown heroes. Besides Tide, like, Tide's their only long cooldown, which is super nice. I mean, the other team, OG, doesn't have any long cooldowns either. It's going to be a very fast-paced game. And with a lot of team fights, perhaps, if we like those. We like team fights. Yes. Yeah. Love them. Make them happen. Like, golly, I sure Tell hate team fights. Bad. I love split pushing. It's a Necroban. I don't know. Alliance. What did you say, Necroban? Necro yeah. Interesting. What, what makes that here Necrophos still exist? good? So wait, is Necrophos a skeleton or a visage? Excuse me? What? A visage? A visage of his former self. Do you know what visage means? Dumbo is not a hero. Uh, what? I'm going to need you to explain to me what you think visage Five means. Because your it's no, I is so first. stupid. I, <laughs> I asked first, sorry. What do we got? Anyway, uh, yeah. Necrophos is going to be banned out. That's very interesting stuff. I, I don't see particularly the big fear that they have. Maybe their last pick is the scary one. Who gets destroyed by Necro the most? You tell me. Pangolier. No, I don't know. Pangolier. Uh, I mean, just high HP pushing here. Like, if he gets an Aghanims, right, those team fights late game, he just starts melting the haters 25 seconds at a time. Yeah. Mm. Perhaps. I'm surprised more people don't pick that stuff. Like, oh, you don't see eggs on Necros pick. that much. I mean, we just don't see Necro at all Easy. anymore, I guess. Medusa Ban <laughs> and a Bloodseeker pick. Blood. Hello. Who is this hero? Hey, why are we not seeing any any vi Vipers anymore? Yesterday, we saw loads of Vipers. What happened? We saw some Vipers Wait. today. Oh, you uh, did? Okay, you know, I didn't I apologize. Did. But, uh, yeah. We, we might see it here. We might see it. Ten Viper's remaining. always a fun pick against Bloodseeker because Bloodseeker has to man up on you and run at you and uh, manning up on a Viper is the scary thing. The only problem, Bloodseeker, like, Grant. What if the what if the rest of your lanes like are losing? That's 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 like a big problem, right? Because then he gets tons of damage and he can actually beat a Viper middle if the rest of the lanes are losing. Because the lower everyone is, the higher his damage is. Oh, is that a pick? That's that a is a storm pick, oh. and it's the last. Huh. Give me a sec. I'm trying. Is that Storm Spirit? Storm Spirit I'm is that the gonna S. go mid. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm out of here. All right, Grant, Sorry. Sorry, you Grant. have the honor also of being the first to decide who <sighs> you think is gonna take this game two of the series. I actually like the the low. Besides Tide Hunter, wait, is that an Ace Tide Hunter? What? That looks that like is. Ace Tide Hunter. What? What? Okay, no, no, they, they swapped. They swapped okay, Ace Fang. You have the pleasure of being first. <laughs> Never been a fan of Dazzle, even in OG's hands. I'm gonna go for uh, Team Secret. I'm going Secret as well. I just don't. I just like the the fluidity of Secret's draft. How can I go against that? He's our resident expert. How can I go against the fluidity of Team Secret? I'm going for Team Secret as well. What's gonna happen though? Find out with Odie Pixel on Fog. Thank you very much, Shiva. Indeed, time for game two now. Secret versus OG. Quite a matchup in game one. We're seeing different things come through in game two again. Though. Yep. Look at the two drafts. Would you sort of agree with the sentiment over there that Secret's got something a little bit easier to pull off? How can I disagree with the fluidity? The fluidity. That's, good. That's a nice one. Let's see. Good Storm. I mean, Storm can have a little bit of rough time versus Durst, but it's a good Storm lane. Uh, Dazzle and Sven, though, have very good versus the Slaughter Revenge, so the physical damage can get a bit reduced. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a, just a short you know, pause, ladies and gentlemen, so apologies for that. Yeah, we have a quick pause. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm probably going to say OG, OG, just because okay. they've got Jarek's Air Spirit. Jarek's Air Spirit. Right, it's been a while. you got to love the guy on it. Let's see let's see what he can pull off. Yeah, they've, they've certainly got some good good combo plays, especially as long as there's a decent enough style for the bat. It's good timing on the blink and search. And yeah, I mean, they, dude, these guys actually have so many signature heroes. What? Rezo Sven, was that one of the heroes that he beat EG with at TI? No, I don't think so. But they've got S4 Batrider, they've got Jerax Earth Spirit, they've got Fly on the Dazzle. Mm -hmm. Like, these it's are just... All the, all the title heroes. These are things that they just love to play. Sure, and then we look at we look at Secret. A little bit less, apart from definitely mid one Storm. That's yeah. the big one that screams out, one. yeah. I like the, the Storm pick was pretty good too, because it's yeah. very good in the lane, and... I mean, if he gets, sure, if he gets BKB, it's really hard for him to say, but there's still the lasso. But yeah, Earth Spirit can make it really difficult for Storm. They can put a lot of pressure with that Blood Secret Earth Spirit split combo. We saw a newbie do that one a lot of TI, and we saw the damage it can cause inside the laning phase. So 
So we'll see how they end up doing it. What other lanes are gonna be? Is it gonna be, it looks, is that a Sven mid and a Bloodseeker safe lane? So they're trying to dodge the Storm Spirit is what that tells me. Okay. For that and Bloodseeker. You, do you think that's absolutely necessary with the Bloodseeker matchup? I think it's either they dodge it or yeah. they'd have to pretty much dual lane the Bloodseeker versus Storm for a start because Storm Static Remnant, every time you walk up, it's too much damage, too much harassment at risk for you. Blood Rage, you get hit by one. It's a massive amount of your HP. And they can put a lot of pressure here, right? If they do emphasize on just giving the Bloodseeker a 1v1 matchup versus Tidehunter, they can just put pressure on the lanes and Thirst starts to add up. That being said, though, Tidehunter, if he does get the wand early, since you get wand charges from Blood Rage, it's actually a very good matchup for Tide. Unless he has tons of thirst. thirst. We'll see how that works. 30 seconds to battle. See, secret. Prepared and ready for action as they smoke up from the high ground. Right. Looking to cross the river and enter the jungle of OG, but OG actually, all five of them up towards the top. Secret has a much stronger level one, triple stun. S4 could be unfortunate with his movement here. He's heading over, but uh, he's staying well aware and well away from that room spot. It's just going to look for the block almost. The battle begins. Just innately knows that Secret are going to make this sort of a play, and S4 not to be one caught out. Jarex is in position, what it looks like, for a courier snipe here. Mid one going to send anything out yet. He hasn't purchased anything just yet. Look at this ward down bottom from Secret. They've already got it down and they're... They're going for a first Yeah, they, here. they've got this vision on S4. As you say, it is a strong little jump that they have. S4's going to get a bit of a nasty surprise here. The cast comes through, buying time for the magic missile into the crush, and S4 is gone. A horrible surprise waiting for him there behind the tree line. Mid now, though, they're gonna go for mid one, and he should die here with the new poison touch getting refreshed every single hit. They have more than enough chase. Rezo taking a lot of damage, though. Puppy coming in here might be able to clean him up here with the tower. Oh, I think he might just be able to. One more will do it. He's got the cast. Puppy from bottom lane to middle lane, picking up the earliest double kill on a Witch Doctor I've seen. Dude, level one TPs. <laughs> the dream. Thank you, Valve. Everyone just being able to help each other out now. S4 already level 2 now, he went back bottom, got the full creep wave after he died, so he didn't actually lose out on too much, he just gave that first blood gold. And it's a blood seeker in a lane versus nobody top. No tail's happy. Is under attack. Getting every single deny. Oh, but missing the last hit, as soon as we bring the camera to him. Sorry, Nintendo. Come on, step it up. So we've got some interesting lanes coming out, five people mid. Yeah, hang on, this Butter is... Butter moved away, but it's a try lane from OG, what it seems like to punish the storm spirit. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them. Midpoint Storm <laughs> is very scary if it gets out of control. Midpoint will now be joined by Yapstorm. They need to have at least someone else around here by the Storm Spirit to deal with this very safe try lane of OG. It's starting to get broken up as the movers come out. Jarex rolls towards the top lane. I'm going to blood seeker if he needs that, that help. But overall, see how these lanes pan out. Bottom lane, S4 seeing a chance to move it on to Fada. Fada has got 9 1 charges, but the sticky napalm is building up. See if the one charges are enough, and with the Kraken removing the, the Napalm, S4 should be fine. Sorry, Fada should be fine. S4 actually taking quite a beating from the creeps as he was diving in for that. Still trying to play around with Fada, but he has to respect this Tide with full, nearly full one charges. This game's, this game's started out pretty weird. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah, these lanes have been switching feature. around. Yeah. Wonder if it'll be beneficial for them to actually have that. It doesn't really seem like it is too much. The lane's going... Much more in favor for OG here. And still tr staying with this tri lane, it looks like, in the mid lane. Just really wanting to punish the Storm Spirit with the Storm Hammer. Yeah, so still, still sitting there. They're making sure that OG can't get too, too crazy with that mm -hmm. mid Sven. No tell, though. Doing just doing great. We'll probably see a lane switch happen in a bit though. I don't think he wants to stay up top there versus two heroes. I don't think that's like a very big win. Bad Rider can also just always rely on like stacking jungle creeps or just, I mean, he can always stand versus two heroes. It's the power of Firefly. Mid lane CS, for mid one. 9 for 4, 9 for 4 on Rezo, so absolutely neck and neck. And the Storm versus Sven matchup. Mm -hmm. Still three heroes sitting mid. The record for kills in Witch Doctor. Mid 
lane. Here we go. The roll comes out. Jarek kicks him backwards to move him out of position. The poison touch follow up. Yeah, so by some time with the crush down, but still mid one too low by the looks of it. Puppy will come in and foul with the cast buying time, but still mid one will fall. They should get the return kill on Jarek for the maledict bringing him down. Crush from Yapsil to seal the deal. But mid one is gone. Rezo still alive. So this is actually a cool thing. So instead of switching the lanes up, they're putting so much pressure on the storm that they're forcing the reactions, and then it leaves Bloodseeker in a 1v1, which is a nice advantage term because of how many stacks that he has on the third. Oh, up top. Ace will steal the rune, has to dodge out the blub, right? But I will be fine. But uh, yeah, as you say, just some interesting methods of forcing Secret to react to OG's plays. They'll yeah. go for the magic missile, cask as well, onto Jarax. See if they can get this one. They do block off the roll, and with that, they'll get the kill. Jarex is down. Man, Ace is farming really well, too. Mid lane, yeah. though. S4 oh, gets involved, too. <laughs> yeah, this, I mean, they are. It's all eyes on mid one. It's either forcing supports to be there, and if the supports aren't actually staying there, it is getting them the kills on this storm spot. Okay, and the, and the lane switch does happen. No tail goes bottom. He, st he was 11 and 10 CS for a minute or so, and Ace started pulling ahead. And yeah, with that natural kind of movement, S4 moves mid, gets the kill, and now he's going to port top more than likely to get that experience. And Jarex is going to stack for his buddy S4 in the jungle for that Batrider. And Fly already has been doing a great job of stacking the Ancients for the spend. I think it's a quad stack already. Oh, shoot. That is five minutes in. Yeah, he's been on top of that. And he has a, oh, and a double stack on the left side, too. So, yeah, they've been really focusing on making sure that Sven has a good game. Top now, Jarex, S4, and he's, you know, he's Yeah, making the plays indeed. Body blocking him off, so he's by some time with the stun. Not enough to save him, and now Puppy has to be a little careful. They're chasing him down, looking to dive the tower. They've got the creep wave moving in as well, rolling forward, but now with the TP, Jarex will back away. She gets cancelled by a secret. Nuttel's getting bullied a bit by this Tide, who's level 5. And with the soul ring on tight as well. Yeah. You can just keep up the spam fighter. It's really tough. Like, you walk up, you get hit by a level 3 anchor smash. The yeah. damage reduction, you can't last hit well. And he always will have those stick charges from whenever you use Blood Ridge. And, he, and Fada's actually going for a kill here on Noto. Noto in some trouble now. Farming, getting help off the creeps. He's caught up. He uh, may just be dead. Uh, what well, the gush is back up in a couple of seconds. If Fada can find the vision. Or the juice. The movement speed too. Up top, OG, they do get mid one yet again. So many heroes just being thrown about mid lane, as you say, and it it is crushing mid one's early game. S4 bat, he's just punishing him. How I many deaths is four deaths on four mid one here? And that movement speed they got from getting mid one low actually probably saved no tail bottom. Maybe he would have been able to distance himself from bottom anyway, but we'll, we'll count that. With the Ravage online, uh, laying it down bottom is going to get a lot harder for Notel. He can't afford to, to play around on the lowest of his health as he has been previously. Now top S4, he's coming in, he has indeed. He comes straight forward, grabs Ace, drags him down. The poison touches out as well, constantly being refreshed with the amount of fire burning from Ace. will look, hope for some sort of a deny, but it's not going to come through. Jarax with a rock to the face, smashes Ace's skull to the ground. Mid one has entirely resorted to the jungle now for the time being, getting some stacks up going for him. Bottom. Rupture comes out bottom. They need some support. One charges. And straight up heads up. TP out, but it's safe. Force him out of the lane though. He gives no tell time to farm. And look at the CS on Reza. Very, very nice indeed. I say it gives him time to farm, but Puppy now down here with Ace. Ace was looking to try to make something happen, but uh, Ace has the three stun build too this time around, since he's not really sitting in a lane farming, he's playing the musical lane. Yeah, looking looking like a decent start already for OG. They also have, like you mentioned, those massive amount of stacks, and Jared. they find Puppy. The boulder smash out straight away, fly with the poison touch to get the slow for the roll through. Good heal bomb as well, bringing Puppy down low. Yapsil tries to come in, but Jarek instantly with the signs. Should be enough damage to bring Puppy down. He's picking down low, he's got the TP available, has to cancel it to get out of the blood right. Jarex is chasing, will get the kill. Cost him his life though, uh -oh, but everyone's one. low. It's time for OG to move in for more. They find the stun onto mid one, mid one's gone. OG finds two, but now looking to turn. They'll get the crush out onto two of the heroes of OG. No tail falls as the magic missile comes out. Resolution trying to chase. Yapsil is trying to slither away, but the rupture was out before No Tail goes down. So OG, they find Yapsil as well. Stun comes out onto Ace. Resolution continuing to chase. Boulder smash down for the low ground onto Ace, but he has the stick charges. Turns for Rezo. Mid one back in the fight. Fly trying to keep Rezo alive. Has the heals. Has the graves. No set those guys. Oh, the swap is there though. Rezo learns it. Oh, he nearly gets Ace. Rezo will go down. That was 
A bit of a monk at S for Ace on the bench, nearly I, falling. I think, did Ace pick up that bounty rune and get six from it? I want to so say he, he did, because I, I didn't think he, think did. he had the swap charge. Yeah, with the XP, he would have got the yep, kill. He definitely, definitely did. That was, absolutely did. That was a quick skill up, too. Yeah. He picks up the bounty rune, instantly levels up the swap. And I don't know if we get a replay of that one, it. but it must have been just that, because I said that it was, was, I didn't think it was six at the time. That was pretty. And mid one gets involved in a kill. Happy man, finally. Let's get in. Crazy little like game one. We had a great game one between these two teams in game two. Nine minutes in. Looking to be more of the same. Lots of fighting, lots of movement. Yeah. An insane amount of movement, to be fair. We'll see it here. They're Let's setting up the right bottom right now onto Jarex, but we're looking at one point stuff. Yeah, Jarex is trying to get back. We can, we can do both at the same time. So down bottom, Jarex will get caught out by the magic missile swap back. Actually gets the chance to roll. It is blocked off. Grosser phase is out on him, and he will go down, but. We are watching this one, and don't shout Titos, boys. We asked for this replay. We wanted to see it. We are getting it. Where does it come through here? So that's the, the very nice question. Yeah, look, he's level five at the moment. Yeah, it's because he grabbed yeah. the bounty. And we should see it. There's yeah, no other action happening just yet. It's just a, it's just a Sven hitting the mid tower. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, calm down, Twitch chat. Hold yeah, look, on he's level. Yeah, it's because he grabs the bounty. Yep, that's that's a great play. Beautiful golden rune. Bam. Level it's six. Good. Instant skill. Instant swap. Ace. Nicely done. With the place. In the meantime, Sven was hitting mid tower, forced reaction. No tail goes top, and he's able to claim that tower. As they so that movement from secret, they go to kill that earth spirit bottom. They do get him, but in the meanwhile, OG does use that space very nicely to claim themselves a tower top and half of one middle. Now all of secret farming jungle together. ready to keep this action up top lane fly and a little bit of a bother the Absol's chasing him sprint has run out but the Absol still finds the crush fly has the heal They've got a gush does still have the grave and the one charges he's making the work for it gets the grave out in time the cask and the malady to there but fly oh, oh the, the cast bounces are unfortunate i tell you, there was a lot of creeps there the rng was not on fly's side no. nearly makes it out Nearly is not good enough. He is down. Almost Master Madness finished on the spin. And he's got, like we said, massive stacks for him. I think there's two quad stacks. He looks like he might even try to go for one now. He's got to watch out, oh. though. That's a pretty hefty yeah, ancient stack oh, oh, oh. there. No, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. I mean... I've, I've seen people die to these ancients many a times before, but he looks like he's got it. Uh, he ain't no envy. This is Reza. Reza. Dude. Careful. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> flies down with in time. I saw QO die to these ancients at the minor too. That's good. Mask of Madness is going to be finished up and that's a big chunk of gold. Look at his net worth just skyrocket up there. And I think S4, S4 has the blink as well. Yeah, Level 10 on that rider. Look at his net worth. Oh, he's really he's doing a really he's good job. So, no tell. Up. They'll continue to stack up the Ancients again. Are they able to get it successfully one more time? They are, so it's a five, four, five. Actually, you can stack there on that one as well. I know, I know it was a bit miscommunicated there with Seeker as well. I think Yapsa was trying to stack the Ancients. <laughs> Ace starts hitting them, and then they don't stack. Oops. Oops, indeed. Smoked up behind Rezo here. They want to try to go for this tower. They don't have God's strength yet for another... 15 seconds or so, but he does have an arcane wing to pop as soon to use with that god strength. Time to farm. Yep. Get him closer. They're sleeping. Those ancients gotta wake him up. There we go. Easy. Easy gold. Oh, and with the blood rage too, he's gonna oh, clear through yeah. this. Oh, he's, oh look at the heals deal. too. Mm. Literally taking look those at that damage. 1,000 gold, and now all the big creeps. Full health. Full and full bank account. Mid lane. Mid lane, they get a jump on No-Tail. They've got the Maledict on him with the death. Well, it's gonna bring him down low. Graves there, No-Tail, can he get out? He's got the TP. He's going for it straight away. Can you have to close the gap? Doesn't need to. Ace is there with the swap. Secret five man in the mid lane. S4 with a cheeky little blink on blink action to dodge the magic missile. Keeps himself safe. But No-Tail is down. Almost with the mech finished on Fada. So during all that, he was farming jungle quite a lot with Ace. 
Ace gonna have the Mask of Madness finished, and mid one has recovered pretty nicely. Has a Fokaya finished up for him, as we've seen is the very popular pickup. And we saw also mid yeah. one skip the Bloodstone yesterday. He went straight Kaya into Orchid. And they did win. Uh, they did they, win they, yeah, they did win. Yeah. Seems to be there. I wonder if we'll, we will start to see this more. I mean, we know that well, also Miracle, when he plays Storm, he, he normally picks up the Kaya. Before still does the, go for the Bloodstone, he? though. Oh, did he go for the Kaya? He still goes for the Kaya first before the Bloodstone. I think, oh, maybe he didn't. I can't remember. Too many, too many, oh, here we go. Too many Kaya's. mid one. Easily picked up. They even throw the last one just in case to make sure. Definitely not so, just in case he gets that zip off. Oh, and a regen rune bottom. S4. Oh, the dream for With a bottle. S4 and his runes. Mid, mid one famous it. Stuart. He was probably so sad. He's like, oh my god, there's a regen rune bottom. Mid lane puppy. He's been bleeding out. The rupture's in. Oh, the kick as well. That's so, so bloody, so glory. Fly doesn't get a chance to break. Secret, get a kill and return. Secret, maybe we're thinking for more. Fudder's still got the rabbit. Oh, look at S4. S4 swapped in, into the crush, and S4, ooh. Three man boulder. Oh, is that gonna save him? Ah, it is as well. What a play from Jerex. Yes, S4, he wants to go back in. Jumps in, gets Gapstor. He's falling low, will die to mid one's presence. Another silence comes out onto the two of them. Secret, they've lost three. Jerex in those out, still playing around on the side of the fight. He's Fudder holding on to the ravage. But uh, S4 with some uh, big kahunis there with the plate. Doesn't really pay off. He gives his life away for the absorb, but gives a I love this streak. aggression from the bat. Yeah, it was a really nice boulder smash yeah. from uh, Jerex. But yeah, he blinks in. He gives up a 535 gold kill streak, though, to mid one. <laughs> Kills Yapsor, though, and it's a pretty big kill because Yapsor was very close to that blink dagger on the slaughter. Oh, Fada, very far up. Oh, Fada. The mech. He's gonna get kicked. Oh, the kick and rupture combo is so beautiful. But it's gone. They yeah. did drop the Death Lord down. Puppy trying to do something with Tab, but look who's there with the Insta Silence. Jerex is there. Does get Magic Missile. Jerex gets taken out, but OG, they're looking for the favorable trade. S4, S4 with a Firefly. Finds the setup for Puppy. Oh, oh, double disconnect. I was wondering why they were going back to base. I was like, what the heck? Oh, no. They were both standing still, not chasing with their teammates. Wow. So, who's gonna die here? Puppy? Should be dead. I think Puppy's dead, but I think S4 is going to die here. Yapsor's coming in with the corrosive I mean, phase and a S4's stun. S4's got the lasso back up in three seconds, so we can lock one of these two down if he doesn't get chain stunned. What are we seeing? Yeah, they've still got the God Strength for the Stormhammer. Do they, what's the status on Magic Missile and Slithering Crush? Are they Magic still? Missile's on cooldown, but the stun okay. is up on the Slardar. So, the He's dream of S4 is if he lassoes Yapsor. Wait, is the swap up? The swap, swap is available, is so well. we can't really lasso. So he's got to lasso the Ventral Spirit, but then he's going to get crushed. But that may buy time for Rezo to come in, get a two-man stun, and swipe him out. As long as Rezo goes to help him rather than continue to chase Puppy, because I, he, but then Puppy might live. Puppy might live, and, and Puppy the, might get, get the, the cast, cast Puppy. They have to finish off Puppy. I here. think they've got to. Yeah. Oh man, that's such an unfortunate. Yeah, if connect. only those two. If were, those two were there, they would have been able to help him go for the chase. Oh. Well, we'll see how it plays out. I wonder what's up with that DC. Who was that that went out flying no -tail? It was both of them. I guess they're well, chilling. They're they must together. be the same place, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No tail. Yeah. Or Fly is visiting no tail, I believe. So, whereabouts are they in the world now? In, De in Denmark? In Denmark, I Denmark? think, right? I think Shiva's saying that. Yeah. Well, chilling in Denmark. Sounds like a party. What's going on in chat? Nothing. J God. J God. Jerax yeah. OS Frog. No brain. Yeah. Sounds like an OG game to me. <laughs> Sounds like an OG game. <laughs> the classic OG game <laughs> Twitch chat. Rezo is massive, though, <laughs> as we're looking at this. I saw him have, like, the slow attack. Uh, so he has the Echo Saber on top of the Mask yeah. and is finished up already. He's rushing for the BKB, too, not going for the Blink Dagger yet because they have two ways of initiating, I guess. They already have Jerex and Bat Rider, so maybe, maybe we'll see him switch that one up. Blink is still very useful, especially to catch out the Storm Spirit for his teammates. Is anything ticking Puppy down at the moment? Is he, or is no, he literally not he's, dead if he's he not dead. No, no. He is. He's just got two stickies and the Thirst active. Yeah, you're right. Rezo has to go for him, I think. How fast is No-Till? No-Till's not healthy, though. He's already used the spells. I mean, he doesn't... Do, I don't think he needs to throw the stun out. Ideally, he wants to just run in. Walk in, hit Puppy once. I mean, Warcry's ended. The move speed's not that great. I so. think S4 is going to die here, to be you honest. Think, you I don't think, think he's going to... I think Corrosive Haze is and then Yapsor is going to be able to get the stun. And the yeah. tower's focusing on S4 as well. And, I, I yeah. thought... Is it? Ace does a lot of damage. Oh, it is. You see the tower hit calling this for right now. Oh, yeah, you're it right. It looks like you're it's right. a part of like, the, the nah, fire. Nah, yeah, but you're right, yeah. He's coming in on him. Wow. He could die. There's a lot of physical damage that comes out from the Venge. I've got no tail back in. Just waiting on the next one. Puppy Falls is being spammed in the chat. Zai's there, too. What's that? Oh, Zai. Oh, hello to Zai. Hello, Zai. Optic.Zai. 
Hello, sir. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're enjoying some EU Dota. Back with the, you know, the people you belong with, sir. Come back to us. We miss you. If anyone working at UC is watching this, he put their spirit. What the heck is UC? Isn't that some adult website? Huh? Well, I'm not gonna check now. Right? <laughs> there it is. Now, now I'm scared. Hold on, fly. All right, supplies reconnected. Almost ready to go underway here. All right, let's Are you see ready? Plays out. Let's see how it pays out. Who's oh, gonna oh. die? Let's see if S4 lives. Is this an S4 or an S4 head? Let's find out. S4 is indeed falling oh, low. Gets yep. crushed and he is dead. Resolution doesn't even bother with that. He says S4, you, we're letting you die. It looked like that was gonna be happening anyway. It looks yeah. like he's already had the swap queued up on Yapsor to get the instance done Radiant with the cross phase. And one. that is Yapsor's yeah. blink. Yep. That's the gold he needed. And mid one's farming during that, so. It was a Ravage expended though, so I think this is OG's time to just make a big play happen here. And during all this too, I mean, Fly is, I don't know, I haven't even like seen him, but he's, he keeps stacking all these engines. There's another triple stack at bottom now, mid one. Oh, Jerak! What a man, what a player. He's what a game. Tower. Oh, they're gonna get the tower tonight too. Jerak, just so quick with that stun off the rolling. Yeah, he was, I mean, mid one has to expect those kind of moves to come out though. He yeah. was a little bit. A little bit cocky there to stay for the tower when the Earth Spirit's back alive. And must Rezo get an off the echo? Oh, yeah, sorry, it was BKB, he okay. queued up. So I guess he's not yeah. going to switch it from that, he's going to stick with it. We'll see this uh, replay again in some lovely slow mo. Jarex instantly. Bam! There he's comes actually, the rock. He's actually so quick. Bam! On that. No chance. I mean, that's why, that's why, you know, he's the Earth Spirit legend. Yeah, I tell you what, that might be the new update, you know, with this new MS and the ping stuff, making it even quicker for you to get out those combos. That is true. Oh, gee, they are smoked up. They are trying to take advantage of when Ravage is down. Fly does die. Jarrax finishing the boulder smash. But he gets the space for Reza to finish off the tower. Is it forward? Oh, no. Yes, he is indeed. Cast into the stun. S4 comes in, trying to hold back Yapsor. But Reza's fully low. He'll turn. Take down Yapsor. He's still alive for now. Finally goes down as Fadaf cuts him off. Mid one still playing around with S4, having some fun with the Kaya. Can they actually kill him off though? Mid lane, Ace tries for a swap play, but he has to be a little careful. No tell lands down the battle right from the high ground. That's a three man. Blood right. S4. Jumping back in on the action. There's four heroes here. He's got to be careful. Oh, Fly getting grabbed back. Still alive. Gets the ultimate out. Does still have the grave to rely on. No tail. Trying to head into the center of all of this. It is going to land again. A four man blood right. But OG, they've lost four. S4 will find the kill onto mid one. And he's on his own now. He's being chased down. Can he really play around this? I want to see S4 turn around and do something amazing. He's thinking about it. The cast comes out. He's, he's still playing with it. But indeed, that urn is going to spend the end of S4's life. Everyone just died. Everyone did just die. And secret do come out on top of that so one. So Notel tried to run in, but Fly oh. used the self grave on himself. Roshan oh, actually got well. with the DD. Oh man, look at this. OG are kind of back up. I mean, they got three heroes. If they can get over it quick enough, the pings come out from resolution. He's like, guys. It's dying way too fast. Rezo's got to get in there if he wants to have a chance at this, but he's not going to be able to do so in time. It is going to be a free one for secret. And in fact, yeah. Rezo. Being kept out of him by Yap Yapsor. He just turned around, Rez. Oh, can they do it in time? Oh! Jerex tries to roll in, but the Aegis is already in the hands of Ace. Ace Mid gets one. the kill. Mid Jumps one goes no in, tail. finds him indeed straight away. They have the gush slow down. No tail is gone. The anchor smash and the remnant finish him off, and Ace isn't done yet. Looking towards Fly. Has the magic missile, the mask of Manus, and the double damage, bringing down another secret, getting some serious momentum. And OG. Having to get the hell out of there. They take the ancient stack as oh, well. Oh dear, oh dear. This Simple is some stack. big stuff for secret. Shadow Blade complete on Ace. And I kind of wonder in that situation as well. You know, Rezo with this build, obviously going for the BKB, a lot of the times it feels like we see the, the Blink Dagger picked up a lot yeah. earlier. And in situations like that, you've got to ask yourself, could that have maybe been the difference if he could have got into position with a blink. Also because like all that all that entire fight happened because he finished off the tower, right? And yep. then he was backing off and he got jumped on and everybody else tried to help him. And it was like, I don't even know, like eight kills or something ends up or more, maybe more because of that. If he had a blink dagger, maybe he kills that and just tries to jump back. Yeah. I mean, that's all in hindsight, but it's the build that he wanted to go for here versus this uh, Tidehunter. It just wants to take the fight. Since they have the double initiators, that's that's the only that's thing that I can think yeah, of. Yeah, they've got other ways of initiating. And, yeah, he just wants to be able to survive these fights. And, and fair play, you know, once he does at the BKB, that's, you know, the Storm. Storm does nothing. You know? Yeah. There's very, very little that the Storm does against it. Sure, they've still got physical from the bench, the slaughter. 
and the Witch Doctor, but uh, BKB is certainly going to make a difference in these fights. Yeah. yeah. If they can get him in position, which if they hear it, they can. So he's got the BKB finished, and yeah, queues up the blink, of course, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, painful, painful series of events, of course, for OG, as No Tail, he is dwindling pretty hard on that map for 2, 4, and 8, and he's 62 last hits as well on this Bloodseeker. He's just hitting in the trees at the moment. Conjurax, Spirit Vessel, the Puppy. Fly. They were expecting this. No Tail's in position, gets the rupture out. Fly? Yeah, he's gonna be fine. Um, they look no, mid one will zip forward. I does take down Fly, does get the chance to get out the old. They get the swap onto Rezno, but it ends up bringing him in a better position to be fair. Down on the low ground, gets the kill onto mid one. He's turning towards Ace, will take down the Ventral Spirit, bringing the Aegis out of his hands. But OG overall, they've lost three heroes. It's only Rezo and No Tail left alive. Is that going to be enough to help them fight against the power of three from Secret? Jump forward from Fight gets the gush from Terezo. They turn towards No Tail. They have the vision and the armor reduction with that corrosive haze. No Tail is down. Rezo, the only one to survive. Again, Secret wins these team fights this one a little messier but they do still come out on top no tail can't get into the fights versus this witch doctor and tide hunter he walks in he gets either cast hit by anchor smash hit by all these different amounts of disables it's really hard game for the blood seeker actually to walk in but here we do see rezo focusing on tafada here but like you said the swap comes out and actually puts him right <laughs> yeah. next to mid one as he gets blast out <laughs> he's laugh. thanks i'll say that one thank you Ace. doesn't need the blink dagger if that's gonna happen terex blinks in he's trying to look for an opportunity here to find it though with Pada's blink dagger. He's got on Ace as well. Easy for him to get out of that. I mean, Rezo is still massive. I mean, as we've seen, if they can find the setup, he will cut through Secret's lineup with uh, very little difficulty under the coverage of the BKB. Yeah. But uh, other than Rezo, it's all looking pretty nice for Secret. Having those three cores nice and big, this is sort of the the core venge that we saw Navi draft earlier that they would have hoped to be, Ace is pulling it off. You know, he's second highest on the net worth. He's hit this really nice sort of, pa sort of power peak. He's 4-1 and 15. He's played these fights very, very calculated, not being caught out at all by OG. And at the same time as we've seen, also saving some of his members with the swap. Not in that last fight where he just put mid one's <laughs> life at a, at a threat. But uh, other than that, it's been some very nice play from Ace. Yeah. Once he has to work around the like God strength BKB every single time. Well, yep. on secret, they have to work around the Ravage every single time. It's all about positional advantage here. I think a gem could be, we have a pause coming out from bottom. I think a gem on S4 could be really nice, especially since they saw the Shadow Blade picked up on the bench. And they need to have the, they need to have good vision advantage to get the jumps from the bat and the Sven. Because if they can just take one person out of the fight at the start, that'll be a huge advantage for OG. And they need to find a way to get, uh, they need to find a way to get No Tail back in the game. He's, he's really struggling. 2, 5, and 10. That's a little grim for no tap. Yeah. No word on why this pause is happening, but I'm just calling for it. Hope he's all right. I'm sure he's all good. We'll see. But yeah, 27, 21, secret. I mean, a mid one. How's he doing? What's he going for next? He's he has going back up for the buzz. Yeah, he went for the Yules, though, to make up for the versus, you know, the, of course, the silence from her spirit and the silence from the Bloodseeker. It's, it's another close one. You know, yeah. we saw this sort of similar situation in game one. This time more kills, though. But, uh, this time it's 48 it kills <laughs> in 22 minutes. <laughs> a lot of bloodshed indeed between yeah. these two teams. The supports on the side of Secret are farming a good amount better than the supports on the side. Fly keeps actually... Keeps, get, keeps dying. It's really tough for... Like we said, like it's really tough for the Dazzle and for the Bloodseeker especially because the amount of fight that Secret has just ways to get into the back line with the Blink Dagger on Tide now. Storm Spirit, Slardar, and that Shadow Blade on the Venge. They can just pierce into the Dazzle. All right, but uh, if things are right. Major issues. Major issues. Oh, Jesus. That, that, that doesn't, doesn't sound, sound good, good at all. That's, you know, I mean, this isn't the kind of major issues where you lose the grand final. This is pretty serious. What kind of major? Game. Mm -hmm. It's Yap. Mm -hmm. If Yap's being serious. But it was not about it. Major issues was far as back. I thought that was going to take a long time. Don't there. debate me. I'm watching you. It was that Yap saw. I'm watching him. Oh, he does. Smoke's out, in. though. OG. Looking for something here. Ravage is still on cooldown. They have to make. They have to take advantage, like I was saying before. Every single time it is down, they have to find something here. 
Gets Ace, that's the perfect one. You're absolutely a little slow with the crush, won't be able to stop him. They drag Ace massively out of position. Do they have the damage to bring him down? OG focusing him and they will find Ace. They bring down one. Resolution moves in now with the stun and God's strength cuts down Puppy. Ideally, they want to get something more out of this one. They are looking towards mid one. He's a little low on the mana. S4 looking to run him down. Fada trying to keep them off this Storm Spirit. Jones forward, cancelling the blink of resolution with the anchor smash. Rezo still gets the chance to find it. Does find the lock on onto mid one. Napso in the sidelines has to hide, trying to slither himself away. But S4's got vision. They've taken down three OG and they're looking for more. Fada jumps into the center of it all. Silence now onto Yapso. Has to pop the ravage. In fact, he may just get a kill with this and he does. Brings down Jerax, Yamsto and Fada, they're turning this round just the two of them. They're moving in onto Rezo, Rezo falling out very low. The Grave does come in in time. The Gush not quite there in time to cancel the blink. Re oh, oh, Fada! Oh, Fada gets him at the end of it all. And what a beautiful turnaround and turn of events from Fada and Yamsto. Yamsto does lose his life, but some big kills found out the back of that. That dive that looked to be relatively safe for OG. They had the numbers against just this two mana secret. But Fada and Yapsaw just turning it around piece by piece. Yapsaw gets the corrosive hazes out. And this tight hunter, he's, he's not someone to smirk at. He will jump, he'll smash the anchors into your face, and yeah. he'll gush you to pieces. And with that ta the talent as well, the 85 damage. Look at this again. I think Rezo pops his mask of madness here. So, I mean, he gets hit by the anchor smash, but he backs up here. It looks like he was gonna blink it for a stun. He pops mask though, and then yeah, he gets hit by the ravage anyway. Though. Back in the real time though, Reza uh, no tail gets zipped on by Mibon from a long way away. It does cost him a lot of his mana. They are looking to still fight. Yapsil comes in with the two-man crush. Death will down from Puppet, but the Graves there for Jerax. Jerax will survive. S4 being turned towards. He has the Firefly, getting himself over the high ground, over the cliff. He should be fine. Mibon trying to chase that last bit of mana. Jump for it from Fada. Secures the kill. OG losing four. They'll almost certainly use, lose five as well. Fly, he'll pop the Grave, but he's got no way of getting out of this one. Secret continue to chase him down. They'll take him out as well. Just like that, things falling back apart again for OG. There's an 8k gold lead for Secret. Mid one, he's, he sees no tail and then he just zips on yeah. him. That's the second time that I've seen him just zip like a super far distance to try to go for those kills and he gets them. Oh my god, the power of the Kaya and the Yules, the amount of intel and mana regen it gives yeah. allows for these super, super long zips. Yeah, and still but no tail. Bottom four net worth now. Still only level 14. He's starting to fall. Is he falling behind? Yeah, he's falling further, like almost behind the supports on the side of Secret here. Really struggling. But mid one is really focusing on him. So they were trying to take advantage of the no ravage. They were trying to make a play in response to the no mid one jump. But yeah, without having the spend, without having their strongest hero, OG does not look too powerful. Have to have Reza doing big things in these fights, of which we can see the net worth graph tailoring heavily off into Secret's favor. Just stay look pretty set. That is securing these two wins here. Big swap back, Ace 5 no tail, but s was there with the counter play. Jumps in, grabs the Ace with the lasso, trying to bring him up the high ground. Ravage comes out, holding S4 in place. Ace can't quite finish him off though, because Resolution's got his back. Comes in, picks up the double kill as he gets Ace after quick succession of bringing down mid one. They found mid one in the uh, river. Jarex and no tail just, uh, Jarex and Rezo just jumped him and two shot at him pretty much. And this is exactly the work that Reza needs to be pulling off for the team, getting these big kills, 10, 4, and 8. He works towards the AC. He's moving down on the tier 2 middle lane. The Ravage expanded, and in fact, Rezo, he's, he's going to find Puppy as well, just moving past the tower, cutting down another. But uh, he's a little too beefy. He absolutely will jump in with the crush, holding back OG. But still, a third pickoff for Resolution. And a tier 2 tower as well. OG giving it their all. And again, showing us how close this game can still be, despite the numbers. Yeah, one, I mean, one disable in this storm is just dead for this, for the Sven. Just way too much damage coming up from Rezo here. Level 20, hasn't chosen which talent he wants to go for yet. I'd imagine it would be the lifesteal. What's the other one? Just the dispel. The storm hammer dispels enemies. Yeah, he takes Yeah, the there's not much that There's nothing to dispel. Father, keeping in. Oh, the smash, the blink out from Jarek. Oh, fly. He'll be the casualty. 
team. Nip one gets Pacific. Nip one wants to look at the ball. Comes in. Gets the Yule set up onto S4. No tells there. Drops the Rupture. Trying to hold down mid one, but he still zips on out. He's going to have to stand his ground as he's a little low on the mana. That does buy time for S4 to get the blink off back to safety. Fly the only casualty for now. Yabsor diving in incredibly deep. Goes for the crush. The rest of Secret not looking to dive tier twos today. Yeah, Brazo's not there. They don't want to fight without him by any means. How long for Ravage? I misclicked. Uh, 40 seconds. If they can get that assault crash finish for the next fight, OG will be in a very, very good position if they get a good weave off from, from flying. OG on the high ground for Secret. Smoked up. Ready to make the movement towards the shrine. Puppy leading him with the Glimmer Cape, trying to get the vision. They're already out though. And it looks like OG won't get caught out by this one unless they get the jump onto No Tail. No Tail is in vis at the moment. They'll find S4 instead, but Rezo comes back in. And the cask indeed absolutely destroying him. He still gets the BKB off. Swaps there from Ace, buying time for Yapsor to live. He blocks off Jerex. Jerex will find the kill. Jerex loses his life in return, though the Death Ward's laid down by Puppy. OG have lost two. Move one, looking to make sure they lose even more. They zip in onto Rezo. He's already put the BKB. He has the grave, but the Ravage from Fada comes in, controlling Rezo and Fly. Resolution to fall fly as well has no escape from this chase from secret they're even looking for no tail in the sidelines but no tail will be fortunate with the tp back to safety but again og losing four heroes they just can't win a team fight as it stands it's rezo versus the world for the damage bloodseeker is unable to do anything in these fights apart from run away yeah just can run you can do that you can, you can throw blood rage on people too so they take yeah. more damage but Roche is now up, Aegis and Cheese and Nick Secret's gonna be able to bring this one down with no problem. Unless S4 goes straight out there to the shrine and does some S4 stuff, but it looks like that's not the plan. Does have a TP, but... He would get killed too. There's a ward there. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be good. I think they're assuming that a ward is there as well, since the way Secret played that last fight. Aegis and Cheese, they've got a strong spirit as well with a freshly... about to be a freshly picked up Bloodstone. It's looking harder and harder for OG. Mid one. I mean, this is classic mid one. You, we saw how much was thrown at him in the mid lane at the start, but he has absolutely made the recovery of a lifetime. He's got 11 deaths, but 10 kills, 16 assists. And as you say, with that bloodstone nearly there, he's back where he wants to be. Yeah. I mean, Fada and Fada and Puppy have been putting in so much work in these fights, though. Jumping from Yapsil. Doesn't find the crush. OG, look at the bite in return. The rupture Fada. I mean, this is it's a beefy target. I don't think he cares too much about bleeding. His KTP will be cancelled, though, by the Boulder Smash for Jerry's. Rezo's actually going to jump in and try and commit on this one, but Ace is there with the save. Swatch Fighter up to the high ground. S4 does find the lasso, dragging him back. Rezo pops the BKB, looks to beat into Ace, but the cheese is swapped. Ace is still alive for the time being. He gets actually knocked up to the high ground by S4. Can they finish Ace off? Ace finally goes down. The Graves out onto Jerry's. Resolution gets the two man stun. Silence for Jerry's wants to vote for them. They've lost the Aegis on mid one. They've lost Ace. They've lost Japsaw, but OG. Now they lose resolution. Mid one's back, ready for round two as he's back with his second life. Turns towards no tail. The cask is there. And mid one is almost early not done. He's looking for the angle, trying to find S4. S4 quick with the blink. Will be safe for now. That puppy, Maledict plus Death Ward in that fight, actually just killed resolution. And now level 21 on puppy, he gets the extra plus one Maledict tick. That actually is same amount of damage if they actually Absolutely. have it on anybody. I mean, it, it just makes sure that it's still there after the BKB, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's... It's all, that's that, that duration, you've got that that pain on you. That's actually pretty neat. Very good positioning there by Secret, though. And we know that you know, OG is behind. They're looking for anything they can get, but any time you're trying to commit like that onto a Storm Spirit, as or onto a Tide Enter, it, it's never going to be easy. Fada's pretty big. And indeed, with the swaps, the plays that Ace is making, sure, it cost him his life, but that sort of spot to start things off, put things into a bit of a frenzy for OG. And look, no tell hits Fada for his hero when he's attacking him, because that extra fracking shot block is Oh, S4 jumping in, trying to get a grab. Ravage comes in, it does get the stun out onto S4. Vortex from mid one drags him in. They have got the silence and rupture onto mid one. Can they kill him off in time? No tail moving forward. This is a big kill if he can get it, but he can't. Mid one able to zip away. Yamso comes in with the crush onto no tail. The death ward from Puppy brings down the blood raged Bloodseeker. Bash out onto Fly. Crush from Yamso comes in. OG lose three. Rezo, he's back up. He's got to pull off an absolute miracle if he wishes to hold this rack. His secret. They're beating into the mid lane. S4 and No Tail down without buyback. 
they've got to just let this mid lane go and hope the secret don't try for more but they certainly are going to i think they realize there's no buybacks on these two they're moving on to the tier four towers og smoking up jarex and resolution have to find the perfect angle to make this defense worth it they've got to get ace they've got to be aware of that swap can they do something absolutely amazing here fly buys back they continue the long wrap around with the smoke where's the jump they need to get the perfect stun rezo he's holding on he needs them to group up they're fairly grouped up now can he go is he gonna do it he jumps in he gets two men he gets ace the border smash it doesn't catch ace though so ace can get away in time poppy gets taken down but it's only a witch doctor secret they can look to turn there's a silence on mid one but he waits it out ace gets the swap the reposition of rezo dragging him back into the absolute crush they take him down buyback comes out from resolution but only puppies down on secret og needs to find more and they're not going to get it the has got the corrosive haze onto no tail he's trying to run himself away jarek jumps in with the magnetize does bring down ace but it's still a full health. Rezo with this buyback. He does get the lockdown onto mid one. Lasso was there from S4. They now look towards Fada. Only him and Yaps are left alive. Have they actually got the damage to bring down this tide? No tell. Jarex and Rezo all relatively low. They're desperately trying to kill him. Yaps is just going to bail on him and says, You're on, in on this one on your own, Fada. I've got to leave you behind. Jarex trying to move away with the Ghost Scepter. But look, they just can't kill him. This man's <laughs> oh so God. damn tanky with the Greaves. It's taking them an absolute age to bring him down, even with Rezo beating into him. He just is not dying. The plus 24 talent on the Kraken shell block, it's impossible to play they against. Kill him. That level 20 talent plus the anchor smash that he was getting on multiple heroes each and every time. It's bad. It's ridiculous. It's 85% damage reduction plus the block. The only way they can kill him is if he got broken for a long enough time, but they didn't last long enough, and now they're getting turned on. They are indeed. Seeker's back. They're going in. Rezo's got the BKB and the Ghost Breath. He actually cuts down mid one. Turns towards Yapso. Yapso's gone as well. Double kill for Rezo. Looks towards Fada. This time, the damage is there. Gets the triple kill. What the heck is what happening? What is happening? How are OG still holding on to this? The question mark's out from Resolution. We'll have a few question marks in chat as well. There's a question mark from me as well. You can pop in. I mean, so, let's, so that's tight. So what have we got? As you say, you got the 24 Kraken shell. And the 85% damage reduction for Anchor Smash. And he was hitting everybody that with is, it, Plus the bonus number from Guardian Greaves. That is incredible. It is a ridiculous amount. Someone is sitting at Valve and going, my goodness, we didn't do the maths. Because that together is a recipe for some OS Frog and a half. I got to see that again. <laughs> I'm going I'm to look at it when it comes back up. But yeah, they, they're still trying to fight through it, though. They defended the... They f defended the ancient. They lost their they did. two towers. It's but. the aim of the game. They're pulling off. We'll see it hit. Oh, this is actually after it's already happened. This is the turnaround. Yeah. Where Rezo is able to come back in. Uh, pretty much as soon as Godstrength comes back online, I think he's still waiting for it there. Instantly, yeah. As soon as Godstrength's back in, Rezo's ready to turn the fight around. And Secret, they were not ready for that one. Ooh. No, but it's it's you are seeing that it is literally Rezo versus the world with it is. God strength. Blood Secret cannot get involved in the fights whatsoever. They're crossing those two buybacks. Oh, S4. And the Lincolns that uh, Puppy's got. Not necessarily what you expect to see on the Witch Doctor at this stage of the game, but Puppy, he's a rich, he's a rich man. That 120 GPM talent really kicking in. And, you know, the fact that he's 11, 6, and 21 on a Witch yeah. Doctor. <laughs> Here we go. OGM. Godrefada moving into the midst of it all here. He does get the Ravage out in time. Beautiful set. And he got all five with that one. Setting up for Secret to move in. Rezo gets the blow of God's Grape and the BKP out. He's able to take down Ace. Now he's looking over for more. Turns towards Puppy. Rezo gets the double kill. He needs to go back and help his team fly by in time for himself with the Grave upon his dazzle. But he still falls. They've lost three. The God's Grape wearing out. But the stun again from Rezo. He's finding the Absol. Jarek's looking for the control. Does it with the bonus match. But the refresher Ravage comes out from Fada. He has the control on Rezo. Rezo's gone. Oh, Ultra kill for mid one. Can that man get the rampage? He's looking towards Jackson. Yes, he can. Rampage for mid one. As a beautiful sequence of events for Secret occur, the double ravage was perfect. The initial ravage from Fada catching all five targets. This tied performance has got to be some of the best we've ever seen. 707, definitely to thank a little bit for that, but he's 10, 2, and 33. That is insane. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's definitely the standout player here. And now he takes the... Oh, he's got the 250 damage talent as well. Oh, baby. Towers are gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, this has been an incredibly good performance by Fada here. Everybody on the side of Secret has been putting in their work. From Death's soul, 
Good luck. Good luck to Jarek and S4. They've got no they've got no reso. Oh, okay, they do get the last one straight away. In fact, that's good. That double four stuff. They're bringing him back into the base. What the fuck are they doing the ace? He's gonna fall. They do get the kill onto the ventral spirit. No tail being kept alive by Fly. Mibble's trying to finish him off. They just need to buy the small time of 60 seconds for Rezo to come back in. OG, they're doing their best to keep Secret off the base. Can they actually defend like this? Secret, they're just focusing. The ancient S4 uses a mid one that's trying to slow this down. S4 dodges the Absol's crush with his bling, forces to the side, then pop the glyph. OG by time, but Fada, he's back in with the 250 damage, slapping into the ancient. S4 drawing the Absol mid one away. Fly and no tell. They lay down the blood right. Fada forced back away for a little bit. 30 seconds until Rezo. They need resolution if they want to have any sort of chance he's of holding it. He's this. taking it. It's only the these damage. two do it, but indeed the 250 damage talent paying it out. A secret <laughs> looking to finish 20 seconds until resolution is not going to be short enough. GG well played is called. Secret will pick up the 2 0. But what a series between these two sides. OG and Secret never failing to entertain. What a way to win. I mean, Secret. That was like a three minute fight that I don't think I heard you stop. That's some crazy stuff. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was pure entertainment honestly I mean, that, it really was you you've got to give kudos to both teams there for playing as as hard as they did rezo you know really putting the work i mean even though it was rezo with the flashy kills the flashy net worth it was still a great team effort you know we saw yeah. fly jarex with some beautiful plays no tell could never get involved though he ended up at nine thousand net worth he was probably he was like bottom three for majority of that game three and 12 he really suffered in this one look at the damage was it rezo with the highest oh yeah Brezzo it was had highest oh,